there, Improv Tipsters. Well, today I have a guest improv tipper that there's so much to say about him, it is, <laughs> I'm struggling to remember it all. Uh, Kevin Mullaney, who I've known since my days back in Chicago, which as we know was in the Mesozoic era, um, is, a, is a great teacher. He, he uh, is the founder of the Improv Resource Center and the host of the Improv Resource Center podcast. All those links are, are, are down below. He's the former artistic director of the Chicago Improv Festival and the former director of the UC be in uh, in New York City and um, he uh, uh, well in 2015 for example he won the improv news any award for the best improv coach te slash teacher of improv comedy like that's I'm bringing you the real deal here come on this is pretty good stuff uh, his tip today is about emotional reactions and um, I, I, I love this tip because uh, Im emotion isn't sort of my sort of strong suit when it comes to playing. So whenever I hear a tip like this, uh, it really reminds me, oh gosh, r r yes, this is a great tool. Remember to use this. My wife did this one, ding, 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 ding. And I think that was an important reminder for me. And I think this tip definitely uh, builds off that today. All of his uh, uh, links are down below, including a blog post that goes hand in hand with today's tip. So if you want to sort of check it out um, and, and sort of supplement what, what we're hearing today, please check those out and check out all of his tips and, and, and the podcast. But right now, sit back, relax, and enjoy Kevin Mullaney. Hi there, I'm Kevin from the Improv Resource Center, and I want to tell you a little bit about uh, a tactic that I love using at the beginning of scenes um, and sometimes in the middle of scenes. And what it is, is um, I like to encourage people to have strong, impulsive reactions, emotional reactions to the kinds of lines that you would normally not have a strong reaction to. Um, I have someone uh, start a scene, they're just doing object work, someone else come into the, into the scene, say something uh, sort of casual or something every day like the mail is here or uh, I just took the dog for a walk and then encourage the person who was on stage to have a very strong impulsive reaction, not one that's pre-planned. Um, it's important that it's, it's something that they think of in the moment once they hear the line of dialogue. But to have that emotional response, to start articulating it in some way, to talk about how they're really upset or they're really excited or they're really happy or they're really sad – about whatever it was that you just said, and then uh, to immediately justify it or justify it as soon as they can. So come up with a reason why uh, they're terrified that the male is here or why they are um, angry that you walk the dog. Um, and what it does is it's, it, it creates these really interesting moments where people uh, the character that you embody has a often kind of irrational but still logical reason for feeling the way they do. Um, and it can lead to some really interesting character games. I think it's also – it sort of trains you to, uh, to, to make impulsive choices in the middle of scenes once you already know what's going on. Uh, oftentimes I find that when someone just breaks down crying or – or gets uh, really upset about something that uh, in the middle of a scene uh, that you wouldn't think necessarily they should get that upset about, it can be a really uh, a great way to heighten a game. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you would like to hear an improv tip about. And also please subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links are in the description down below. Thanks.